What's up guys, Denis Kozer here. First of all, you need to understand that it's cost too much time to export floor generator or rail clone created floor to Unreal Engine. So if you have any ready to go textures, use it. After you create floor mesh, you need to create low poly version. In my case, it's simple square one polygon model. You need to unwrap this object and convert to editable poly. For baking normal map, we need to use scanline render, cause now current doesn't support projection modifier. On the rendering tab, you need to enable global super sampler and choose type Hammersley. Also, you can set quality to 1. Open render to texture window by pressing 0 hot key or select it in rendering tab. Select low poly model and enable projection mapping. Press pick and choose floor generator model. You will get projection modifier on this model and you need to fix cage in it by pressing reset. After, enable shaded and change amount so it covers the floor mesh. Check mapping coordinate step. It should be set on use existing channel. After, add normal map and set file type and place to save it. I recommend you do not use JPEG format for normal map, cause it can have artifacts due compression. Set file resolution. The bigger floor you have, the bigger resolution. You need to have all the details. Now press render and wait till it's done. For diffuse color, choose render engine you used for material creation. In my case, it's Corona Render. Add Corona Render Diffuse Color and disable projection mapping. Choose Floor Generator Mesh with material on it. Like previously, choose File Type and Place to save it. Very important to check mapping coordinates. Choose Use Existing Channel and be sure that your model have proper unwrap. In my case, I unwrap model on channel 2, so I need to select it. Start render. Corona shows up with black window, but render goes fine. So in the end, you will get nice texture. I open diffuse color in Photoshop and change image mode to 8-bit. This will make right appearance in Unreal. Save it as JPEG. To create roughness map, you need to distorate it and invert image. Also, you can change contrast if you need. Save image as JPEG. Next, we need to export low poly model as FBX file to Unreal. In Unreal Engine, import mesh and textures. Don't forget flip green channel in normal map settings. Create material and load textures to base color, roughness and normal. Assign it to your mesh. You can create more complicated material if you want. In this case, I just show the basic concept. If you have any question, please feel free to ask me. Also, if you know the better way to bake these textures, please let me know. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.